Fieldwork Exercise Number 6 Trigonometry Cleveling Hi! Good day everyone! We are the Group 1 of PSC 2H and we are here to discuss the step-by-step -step procedure on Fieldwork Number 6 titled Trigonometric Leveling. Introduction the branch of survey in which we find out the vertical distance between two points with the help of some measurements of the vertical angles and the known distances. The known distances are either assumed to be horizontal or the geodetic lens at the mean sea level or MSL. The distances are measured directly as in the plane survey or they are computed as in the geodetic survey. Trigonometric leveling can be done in two following ways. 1. Observations taken for heights and distances. And 2. Geodetic observations. The objective of this fieldwork is 1. To acquire and develop the skills of determining the vertical distance, elevation, and height of a remote point by applying trigonometric and related analysis. 2. To develop the skills of reading vertical angles using theodolite or total station. The instrument and accessories needed to accomplish this fieldwork report are leveling rod, vertically supported tape used to measure vertical distance, marker, either mark pins or chalk, and plumb bobs, a precursor to spirit level and used to establish a vertical data. Range poles, a straight pole or rod sometimes jointed, usually paint in one foot bands of alternate colors or red and white. 30 meter or 100 feet steel tape is a portable measurement device used to quantify the size of an object or distance between objects and the other light. A precision optical instrument for measuring angles between designated visible points in horizontal and vertical planes. So let's go for the procedure. First, set up the theodolite at the convenient location and call it point A, where the leveling rod and the remote point are visible. Second, using the telescope, take sight at the topmost remote point, then read the vertical angle, and record as A on Table 5 Trigonometric Leveling. Third, take another sight for the second trial. This is done to determine the precision of the observations. Fourth, calculate the mean of two vertical angles or the angle of elevation, not the zenith angle, of the specific point for the first station. Fifth, set the leveling rod vertically near the base of the remote point and take the level for sight on the road to determine the height of the instrument. 6. Transfer the instrument level towards the location of the remote point and designate it as station B. Then measure its distance by taping from its initial position, station A, and record this as distance AB. 7. After centering the bubble of the instrument level, sight at the same topmost remote point, twice using the telescope and record as B on the table 5 trigonometric leveling. After recording these two observations of vertical angle, calculate the mean. 8. Level the telescope while at B and get the height of the instrument by sighting the same leveling rod near the base of the remote point. 9. Analyze the figure the right triangles form to determine the height of the remote point. This fieldwork will not consider the effects of combined correction of Earth's curvature and refracture. And here are the following data. Station A and B has each two trials for angle of elevation which are 35, 32, 43, and, and 45 respectively. In the mean vertical angle for the station A is 33.5 and in station B is 44. For the height of the instrument for station A is 1.50 and 1.67. In station B is 1.20 and 1.25 respectively. And the mean height of the instrument in station A is 
1.585 and 1.225 in station B, as well as the distance AB which is 7.5 meters, and calculated height of the remote point which is 18.15 to, to get the main vertical angle and the two trial in each station then divide it by 2. In station A is 35 plus 32 divided by 2 is 33.5 and in station 2 43 plus 45 divided by 2 is 44. For the mean height of instrument just add the two trials for height of instrument in each station then divide it by 2. For station A is 1.5 plus 1.67 divided by 2 is 1.585 and station B is 1.20 plus 1.25 divided by 2 is 1.225. Computation of the height of the remote point. First, determine the difference in elevation between two instrument setups, which is the formula of difference in height is equal to h sub 1 minus h sub 2. To get the computed height of remote point, we must determine the difference in elevation between two instrument setups which is 1.585 minus 1.225 is equal to 0 0.36. Second, consider triangle BEF, then solve for the distance x using the tangent function. And the formula is tan beta is equal to h sub 1 minus h sub 2 over x. And x is equal to 1.585 minus 1.225 all over tangent 44 equals to 0 0.37. Third, determine the sum of the distance AV and distance X for the analysis of the oblique triangle AFT, which the formula is AF is equal to AB plus X. Just add 7.50 plus 0 0.37 equals to 7.87. Fourth, consider triangle AFT and use the sign law to determine the distance FT which the formula is AB plus X over sine parenthesis beta minus alpha close parenthesis equal FT over sine alpha. And then substitute the following data already. The answer is 23.84. Lastly, fifth, consider the triangle FTG and determine the height of the remote point BG, which the formula is sine beta is equal to parenthesis height minus h sub 1 close parenthesis over fd. The computation is sine 44 multiplied to 23.84 plus 1.585 equals to 18.15.